Okay. So today I'm going to make a solar filter for my telescope. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use this large piece of cardboard and the cover that was the end for my telescope. Draw around that, don't need that anymore. Then I need it to be about four centimetres wide, so roughly four centimetres all the way around. I'm just going to mark. It doesn't matter if it isn't exact. If this was an exact science, I'll be having something machined. What I need is two rings of cardboard. What I'm going to do now is just join these rings. Using freehand. The hardest part was finding a box big enough. Now I'm going to cut two rings. circle and here is the other one and they fit over one another just like that okay so now you have your two rings now you need to cover them in double-sided sticky on on one side. I'm going to use the shiny side of the cardboard that I had used because it's a nice flat surface. Literally all you do is lay your double sided stick, sticky tape on and it doesn't matter if you overlap the cardboard and it doesn't matter you overlap the individual pieces. What matters is that you cover the whole ring. So how I'm going to do that to actually make sure is when I get to these nice little triangles Let's just cut a few strips notice that I'm overlapping on the inside overlapping the tape and overlapping on the outside Okay. <laughs> 
one ring completely covered with overlaps so using one of the circles that you cut out earlier you can use that as a guard the inside ones laser pair of scissors for the outside Notice when I'm ripping it, I'm ripping it away. If when you look at it, any bits that need tidying up, tidy them up. But there's the ring. So there's the ring. There's the other one I made earlier. There are the two rings which will go like this and the film will be stuck between them. see here I've got my piece of solar film which is larger than my ring. Now what I'm going to do is to make sure that this doesn't blow in the wind I'm just going to use some sticky tape. Um, I've got the double sided tape out so I'm just going to use double sided tape. Make I have four little pieces, one to just hold the paper on the uh, this is to hold the paper still. pieces to hold the film on the paper. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to be stretching or tearing or otherwise stressing the solar film. So just gently press it onto the corners. Once it's on, leave it. I need another four pieces for the other corners. tissue paper can be stretched um, when I ordered my film it came with the tissue paper which wrapped around it
to see an absolute fall there. So my film is now secured to my tabletop on tissue paper just to protect it obviously. Like this. Now I need to remove all of the sticky from the ring so that I can then just drop the ring onto the solar film. Okay, so I've taken all of the backing off all of the double sided tape. Now I'm ready to drop this onto here. I don't want to make a mistake. Literally, it's a case of just drop it. My solar filter film is now secure on my ring and now what I need to do is I need to get the other ring and secure this to it. What I'm going to do is just to take it off here. Cut it. I'm not going to trim it up yet. Okay. I'm now ready to stick the second layer on. A little um, less. Uh, droppy than the first one. Obviously I need the this ring to fit over the other ring. Now I have my solar filter, or at least the head of the solar filter, because this is obviously got to have a, a, a ring of cardboard to be used as a sleeve to go over my the end of my scope. But this is the most important bit. Treat it carefully, treat it gently, do not tear it, and remember, never look at the sun without it. I'm just going to give it a little trim. It's very difficult stuff to cut, so it's great if you have a, um, if you're able to pull it. I'm just going to give it a teeny trim. I'm not going to make it exact because um, I, I don't want to risk doing anything terribly wrong. Remember, this has got to protect my eyes and um, and hopefully last me for some time. The price of this. Untrimmed solar filter. Now I just need to make the piece to connect it to the telescope. I'll do that next time. <laughs>